Hi everyone, so let's have a little chat about 3D and 3D printing itself. As my subscribers know I make these concept videos and they are all made in 3D, so potentially I could 3D print them. Now I could add an extra level by printing these concepts and seeing how they look real life. But because it's polygon based and basically a flat layer it can't be properly printed. There are still some options though to make it work with 3D printing though. But the question is, would you guys like the idea? Of course, it will be just one color like the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 I printed before. By the way, the difference with the Note 8 was that it was surface based and not polygon based. You could see it like um, being watertight instead of not being watertight. A surface is watertight and a polygon is not. Um, the way I make it at least. Uh, that's the easiest way to explain it. Uh, that Note 8 was, by the way, made by the very talented Ivo Marwick. I'm not sure if I'm actually saying that name correct, so Ivo, if I didn't. Um, yeah. Either way, what if I do want to look in 3D printing itself? Well, you do have some decent 3D printers out there for a good price. Sure, it will probably not deliver the same quality when you buy like a $2,000 worth 3D printer. But if you want to start 3D printing, a budget 3D printer is the way to go. You can then learn how the way, the way it works and everything like that. And if you're more familiar with 3D printing itself, you can always uh, buy a more expensive one. But this video was made because Gearbest reached out to me and showed me the Anet E10. This 3D printer is being sold on Gearbest for $299.99 at the moment. The price will go up after the 24th of July though. While most 3D printers that are for a budget are pretty hard to set up, this one seems to be pretty easy. There are a lot of cheaper options, but it's a lot of work. And you work with electrical systems and you have to have some prior knowledge to it. And if you um, do it wrong, it can somewhat be dangerous. So you have to keep that in mind when you buy something for like 150 euros. Um, but keep that in mind. For me, I rather have one that is pretty easy to set up um, without any prior knowledge on how to set it up properly um, with all the electrical systems, soldering and whatnot. Um, that's just too much for me to think about for 3D printing itself. I probably could, but I really don't want to. Either way, this 3D printer does seem to do a decent job at printing this. The 3D model that is being printed looks actually pretty cool. It has a pretty easy display where you can see everything on. Maybe in the future I should start looking in 3D printing itself. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you th guys think it's something I should do or shouldn't do? Let me know in the comments below. Now of course if you want to 3D print yourself and have a cheaper options, uh, I will place it in the link in the description so you can see it for yourself and maybe if you want you can buy it. It's all up to you. Anyway, let me know if you think I should 3D print some of my models. Uh, yeah, let me know. Have a good one.